邦，兵邦，兵邦，兵邦。Good morning to our zamers and zamelis. I know it's Sunday. But we ain't spending any Sunday without any mats. Hey, 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 hey! Get your ass back here! No, we're studying mats. Don't you run away from me! No, no! Get in the class! Get in the class! Ping pong, ping pong. Oh, hi, Ori. Hi, Ori. Sit back, away, some guy, do. Welcome to the math stream, everyone. So, ma datang di stream matematikanya Oli. Ori no sugaku haisin de yokso. Hari ini kita akan belajar turunan. Today we will be studying derivatives. Yes, I don't know what the Japanese for derivatives is, but yes, we'll be studying this. I mean, derivatives is actually very very easy. Sangat gampang sebenarnya turunan itu. Like like I know there's a lot of you guys who are very sus of derivatives. Kayak pasti ba apa oli 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 sempat baca prechat gitu kan ya? I read the prechat and everyone's like, oh no, it's maths. Oh no, I don't think I can handle maths, but I love Oli. First of all, it's not it's not that hard. Enggak enggak susah kok yang ini kok. So, so very easy. This one is relatively very very easy. So uh, allow me to explain. So, so I want to teach you guys how to find a derivative based on formulas. So um, we use the limits to process this. Uh, let's just say that we have a function. Okay, we have a tiny little function over here. This little guy. And uh, if we add this thing, I, I forgot what it's called. This prime, right? If we if we add a prime to our little function, that means we gotta. I, I I don't know how to say it in English, but it's like leveling down the function in a way. So it's hard to explain, but here l l l let me show you guys um the formula to derivative. So the formula to a derivative is first you gotta put in the limit, and then you'll have an h that comes close to zero, right? And then you put in the formula, which is f. Uh, X plus H uh, minus FX oh, divided by H. This is the derivative formula. And I want you guys to keep this in mind. I know it looks I know it looks hard, but trust me when I say it's actually a very, very simple formula. It just has a lot of letters. What date is it today? Today is a uh, it's July, so 7x, and the date is the 3rd of July, right? So let's just put plus 3. Let's just say that we're looking for the derivative of this function. <clears throat> now, the first thing that we want to do is that we look. We're going to look for the fx. Wait, no fx plus h we gotta we gotta determine the function plus h of this function okay how do you do that well all we need to do is that we replace the x with the x plus h so what we do is we get 7 x plus h plus 3 easy right do you guys get it? Very, very easy. So, 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 so. Who told you to write seven like that? I like writing my seven like this. Shut up. It's cute. 
seven has a tie. Once we already determine the fx plus h, we put it into the formula, which is fx prime equals. So uh, first we gotta put the fx plus h to the equation, right? So we just put this first. So it becomes 7x plus h times 3 minus the fx. You see? We gotta put in the formula. The fx is 7x plus 3. So we just put it in. Yes. Divided by h. Do you guys get it now? Alright, the, 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 the limit. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put in the limit. That is that is not good. Ali, what are you teaching your children? You gotta write it like this or else it's kind of wrong. Okay? Approaching zero, yes. H approaching zero. You gotta write it down like this. So what we do now is uh, we simplify. 7 times x becomes 7x and 7 times h becomes plus 7h plus 3 and as you can see the 7x plus 3 like this function right here it's like in this little house right when they want to go out of their house they gotta wear their mask which is why we're going to multiply it with the subtraction so it becomes Minus 7x minus 3 divided by h. You get it? Hmm. So, 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 so. And then... All we need to do is simplify again. So, 7x and minus 7. They kind of cancel out each other, right? And then we have 3. Plus 3 minus 3. They cancel each other too. So, we're left with 7h divided by h. Now when we get here, all we need to do is just cancel out 7. I mean cancel out h. So. But. Usually. In, in, in these sorts of... Uh, in these sorts of equation, we gotta turn the h into zeros. But because... We kind of ran out of H. The answer is just 7. And that's how we get our derivative. So the derivative of 7x plus 3 is 7. See? Very easy. You guys get it? <laughs> so, this is the, 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 the long way. This is... The long and correct way. I, I, I like using this because uh, at least we'll get a correct answer. Sometimes I forget how to do the, the, the short way. <laughs> another sample, please. Right up. I'll give you guys another sample. Um, 